Hello YouTube and welcome back to another Minecraft tutorial and today we're going to be looking at these pretty cool looking dwarven statues. Now obviously I think they're pretty cool looking because I built them but there we go. I actually built these ages ago and I was planning on doing a tutorial a while ago and I, t I just never got around to doing it but now I finally am. So we're in the conquest resource pack and that is what this one was designed for. Um, it, I guess it would work in um, default. But I'd, when I switched it over to the default, the uh, the textures didn't quite look right because obviously you got nether brick and it's a bit red and it, it was a bit too bold. Oops, let's uh, multiply it and scale off. There we go. Um, so yeah, so I put it into default and we just went for an all stone one. So I'm going to do the tutorial using the conquest texture pack just because it's a little bit easier to see the colours um, of like you know the feet, the body, the arms beard and the helmet. The helmet is going to take a while. Um, so we're going to do that and then I will just talk you guys through what textures are what if you're going to use it in default and I'll show you guys what it looks like in both conquest and default once again at the end. Just before we get started if you enjoy this video and you find it helpful please don't forget to like comment and share the video because it really helps me out and let's get going. Okay guys let's get started. So we've got nether brick stairs and nether brick We've also got cobblestone, the cornerstone variation if you're using conquest texture pack. And we have uh, stone brick stairs and stone brick slabs, which we'll be using a little bit later on for the main body. So, we're going to take our nether brick. I'm going to start with the left leg of the statue facing... So, the right leg is where facing it, left leg of the statue. Uh, anyway, there we go. Place two blocks and two blocks on top of it and two stir blocks in front. So, you've got this basic foot shape. Then, you're going to leave a gap in the middle. Go over one block and come forward one block and place another two full blocks and two on top of that. So this is sort of going off centered like this. Then you're going to take your stone brick stairs around the back, two upside down ones, two full blocks and two full, full blocks on top of that. So you end up with this weird shape. And to remedy that, you're just going to place two stone bricks on top like so. Next, we're going to take our cobblestone, I'm going to come over to this left leg again. I'm going to go up by six blocks. So, one, two, three, four, five, six. Go up from this block, we're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six. Then, we're going to place a slab and go up five blocks. One, two, three, four, five. Place a full block, go up from another four blocks. And then, we're going to place a upside down stir facing out this way. So, make sure you don't place it so that you can see that gap. Make sure it's facing towards the back of the statue and then go up one two three four blocks and that is the basic shape already getting laid out next we're just going to add in sort of the front body armor work and the back and the shoulders okay so let's do the front chest piece area so we're going to come right to the top of the statue or the top of what we've built so far i'm going to place a full block then either side of that we're going to place two normal stairs place three full blocks underneath them and then either side of that some stirs, a line of five full blocks, a stir like this, a line of three full blocks, and then now we're going to do an upside down stir facing out to the side that way. And then following on from that, another upside down stir facing on, so it's coming down at an angle like this, and then just three full blocks like that. That's simple. Hopefully, you guys follow that. If not, just go back and rewatch it. Okay, so let's go work on the back and the shoulders. So Coming around to the back, it's dead simple. All we're going to do is these three middle blocks, you've got a slab, a full block, and then an upside down stir. And the upside down stir is obviously sticking out. Put an upside down stir either side of that, four blocks on top of them, and upside down stirs on each of the ends, and then just bring these four blocks all the way up like this. So now we should have a nice flat top. And what we're going to do is place two stirs facing in on top of each of those, so from the front, Time to get this shape now. And then we're going to just fill all of that in. Now you don't really need to do some of these blocks, but you'll see. And then we're also going to put one on top of here. And then we're going to go like this again. Same pattern. And then we're going to go again. And then we're going to go again. But this time, we're not actually doing it this. So this only goes up two blocks high. And then one last time, we're just going to do a T-shape. So these back two corner blocks don't get used. Now... From the back, looks very strange at the moment. From the front, 
looks a little strange. Well, that's because we need to put the face in. There's going to be a beard in the front. There's going to be the arms coming out the side. They're going to have the big helmet. And it's all going to look fine, trust me. Okay, so now we're on to the arms. And we're going to need some sandstone, sandstone stairs, sandstone slabs, and some chiseled stone, which looks really cool in the Conquest pack. Still looks okay in default, but these are the same blocks no matter what. So, what we're going to do is we are going to go to the first stir block facing the front. So, this one's the front, this one's the back. So, the one that's facing the front, I'm going to go stir block. And I'm going to turn so we're at the back and place another stir block towards the front. And then we're going to do a stir block coming down. And I'm going to put a slab underneath that. And then we're going to do a stir at an angle like this. So it's sort of upside down facing away. And then we are going to place a full block here. Yeah. That looks... that. Yes, that is right. Sorry. <laughs> I couldn't tell if it was supposed to be there or there, but it's supposed to be one block away. So it's, it's kind of going to look weird, I suppose, from underneath. But... It's fine. If you're really that bothered about it, you can always put a slab or something in there, but it's fine. Then you're going to place a chisel block, sandstone block, chisel block, and then just sort of repeat the pattern on the opposite side. So from up here, we're going to have a stir block come underneath it, place an upside down stir block facing that way. Then we're going to place a stir block facing this way. So it's sort of joining onto that block there. Place a slab underneath that, place a upside down stir sideways onto it, and then a full block next to that chisel block. And that is it for the arms. Uh, it still looks very strange because we haven't got the beard and the helmet in place. That's a beard really weird then. Yeah. Uh, but we are getting there. Almost done. Okay guys, it's time to give our statue a face. So for the beard and the face, what we're going to use is brick, brick stirs, sandstone, a sandstone cobblestone wall for all the conquest people and gold blocks for the eyes. Now the eyes you can use any block you want, I just thought gold block looked nice and stuff. So let's get going. So we're going to start with the bottom of the beard and we're going to use the brick stairs. And where you have these two stone bricks, right in the middle on this central line here, you're going to place one upside down brick, then you're going to place a normal facing brick and then on top of that another normal facing brick. So you've got three brick stairs on top of each other. Now, either side of this top one, you're going to place two upside down ones like so. And then underneath those, facing outwards, you're going to place some more stone bricks like that. So you've got a little bit of shape and depth and definition going on. And then what you're going to do is replace this middle block here with a brick block. And that just sort of hides some of the material in there. Moving on to the face, we're then going to place a upside down T-shape like this. And place our cobble wall right on top of that beard block for his nose. And then we're going to place two gold blocks either side like that. And now that looks quite scary. But we still need to put the helm in. The, the beard bit there, that's all looking better. These eyes are huge and it's a bit scary. But trust me, the helmet's coming next. This is going to be the most complicated bit of the tutorial. Uh, so you might have to watch that a couple of times. Hopefully I'll explain it well. Let's get ready. Okay, so now we're ready for the helmet. Like I said, this is the most complicated part of the tutorial, so try follow along carefully, and I'll do my best not to mess it up. So, we're going to need some nether brick blocks, nether brick stairs, nether brick slabs, this variation of the iron block in the conquest pack, and the cobblestone wall to match it. You need a biome tool to change the uh, stir and slabs, and you also need some stone brick slabs because I missed a little bit out earlier doing the shoulders, which we'll place in now. So, going next to the beard, and on top of this shoulder block, just do a top slab like this and the same on that side and that's all you need you can throw that block away don't need it there you go right so starting at the back I think this will be easiest to explain it we're going to take our nether brick stir and on line with the shoulders we're going to place an upside down stir and I already changed the biome because I made a mistake earlier on while well, recording Shh. <laughs> okay so that is the first block you're going to place then you're going to place three iron bars going up iron blocks sorry place a nether brick stir on top, place a nether brick slab on top, place a iron block on top, place a slab coming off the front like that, and then you are done for the center part at least. 
Oh, also change these biomes. The and the. There we go. Next, what you're going to need to do is take your nether brick block, place them either side like this so, and then coming off of those, you're going to do some upside down stairs pointing off to the side. Sorry, no. They're going to go here, and they should be upside down stairs like this. Then, you're going to place your two blocks. Then, place your two blocks coming out to the side. On top of these two blocks, you're just going to place some four blocks, and then coming out the side here, we're going to place a stir block facing that way. So, you can see this corner of the face there. So, let's do that again here. Two blocks, and then it upside down stairs, you can see the corner of the face here. Next, coming up, we're going to place... Okay, so I just forgot what the helmet looked like for a second, but it's fine, we're back. Okay, so, what we're going to do is from this eye block from the side, we're going to place three full blocks all along the sides. Same on this side, one, two, three. And then at the back here, just to cover those blocks up, we're going to place some stir blocks, like that. Working from the back, we're going to place four block here, and full block here. Uh, also, you can fill that block in, it's going to get covered up in a minute. Uh, put a stir, so you have a one block gap and then the stir up here. Same there. Fill in some slabs. And now we're onto the front part of the helmet, so working from this side, we're going to place some stirs facing normally, so not upside down, facing normally outwards. Then we're going to place some upside down stirs to cover up those eyes, so we've got some smaller, better looking eyes now. Put some slabs on top of them, and put a normal stir block in the middle. Put a slab joining that up there and just fill all of this section in here with three full blocks like that. And there you go. That is the helmet. Hopefully you were able to follow that. If not, just shout at me in the comments. Um, and you also want to change this biome here to, I think it is, frozen ocean biome. That would be extreme hills and that changes the bricks. So you want the frozen ocean one doesn't change the bricks and if you really wanted to I suppose you could go all out and give this like a metal trim but then you kind of get to a little bit complicated down here when you're doing you know these type of things um, so I mean you could but you see now it starts to affect blocks up here as well and that's why I didn't bother so we've just got the one sort of metal strip coming through the top and I think that's fine Okay, so we're really right at the end of the video. All we have to do now is give our dwarf a nice big battle axe. So to do that, we're going to use the cobblestone wall with this iron metal version. We're going to use an anvil, and we're going to use the metal stone bricks, uh, not stone bricks, nether brick stairs. Also, if you didn't get this, it's just two cobblestone walls on top of that middle block. Um, I noticed in editing that <laughs> I cut that bit out because of the mistake I made. But... Anyway, on to the battle axe. So from this middle block, this is where his hands are joining, clasping around the axe. I've actually just done that action. You're going to place two coming up like this, and then you're going to go all the way down to the floor and leave one block gap. And that's where you place your anvil. Then you're going to get some nether brick stairs. You're going to do two upside down ones coming from the anvil, and you're going to do two normal ones coming from all the way up here, and then just change the biome to match the metal one up here. So we're going to go for Frozen Ocean because I know that works. And also, coming out the side, to Cobblestone Walls. Just to join that up, make it actually look like an axe. If you don't join it up, it looks a little bit silly. So make sure you join that up. I forgot. There we go. And that is it, guys. That is it for this tutorial. Now, I am going to go over what materials I think you should use if you're going to go for a default one, just because it looks better. And it's also all in stone. So if you don't want it to have all the colours, you don't want it to be skin coloured, you don't want the beard to be the brown and the helmet and everything, um, stick around for that. Okay, guys. So here is the finished thing. This is the Conquest version. Like I said, looks a little bit weird in default. And this is the default version. So all we've done is were this four coal on one block was is just stone brick so just remember that all stone brick for the shoes and the main body for the arms you're going to use cobblestone for the beard use cobblestone and for the face use cobblestone and then for the helmet use stone brick and i actually used a strip of stone now you can't really see that clearly but i think it's a nice little 
nice little feature. You've just got a normal stone block, cobblestone walls is all fine, and the battle axe actually still looks pretty good. The anvil is black in default, so it's a little bit off, but I think we can get away with it. And instead of gold blocks, I've gone for obsidian. You can use coal. If you want to stick to the stone theme, just, just use stone blocks. Or even just stick with cobblestone. You can just place cobblestone in there, and it looks fine. And that'll be it for this tutorial, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Hopefully you liked the two variations that I've done, the default and the conquest one. Uh, if you want to see more tutorials like this, put in the comments below what type of things you'd like to see. Bear in mind, I'm not very good at statues. It takes me a while to build statues. I know there's going to be a big, massive dragon get being requested right now. So, to that person, no. <laughs> um, but yeah, if you've got any ideas for small tutorials like this that you want me to see, you want me to do a conquest version and a default version, or even modern, because I'm trying to push myself into modern now. So you want me to like a modern house or cafe shop? I don't know. You want to see something small that I'm going to be able to sort of work around everything else that I'm doing. Put a comment below, tell me what you want me to see, and I will reply if it is something that I am willing to do, you know, like give it a go. Now, if I reply to that comment and say, yeah, it's a good idea, I'll do it, doesn't mean I'm going to do a video on it, because I might try it and it might suck. So, just simple as that. Um, and if it's been like three months and there's still no video, just wait, that video might be coming. It just, it takes me a while to do things. But that'll be it for this video guys. Like I said at the start of the video, if you really enjoyed this video and you found it helpful and you, you've you built the statue yourself, then please like the video, comment on it, uh, just say that you've used it or something and let me know. And share the video with other people like yourselves. It really helps my channel grow and it helps me be more motivated to create more content and stuff. So, can't really see now but I'm doing two thumbs up and a big cheesy grin. No, I'm not getting a face cam. Right, that'll be it for the tutorial. I'm really getting bad at outros. Uh, okay, bye.